After my ADHD diagnosis, I really thought it would be a huge advantage when it comes to raising my ADHD children. And for the most part, it is an advantage. You could empathize with them. You could talk to them and get them to understand things better. You kind of know what they're thinking and possibly even what they're feeling at times. Not only that, you know what's ADHD related and what's just being a seven to 10 year old boy. But recently, in certain situations, I kind of feel I might be doing more harm than good. So that's why I did a lot of reading on parent tips for parents who have ADHD, raising ADHD children, so that hopefully I can get back on track to having a better relationship with my kids. And hopefully it'll help you out too. So let's talk about it. Good morning. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you had a happy holiday. Welcome back to another video and thank you so much for joining me. Quick backstory. My son was diagnosed about five years ago. After that diagnosis, my wife and I started doing a lot of research to try and help him out. And then we quickly realized that I most likely have it too. So I went to go get checked out and I got diagnosed. After my diagnosis, I started thinking of my childhood, all the troubles and struggles that I had to go through because of my ADHD. And then I got a huge boost of confidence when it comes to parenting a child with ADHD, because I felt that I had the tools to guide them through those troubles when those troubles arrive. I didn't really have anybody to guide me, especially since nobody knew that I have ADHD. But recently, I've noticed that his symptoms and my symptoms sometimes battle each other. Actually, they battle each other quite often. And then I started to realize that I can't regulate my emotions fast enough to not lash out on him. And then I feel bad for lashing out on him because I know I should have talked to him. I know I should have calmed down first and then talked to him. It's just a big mess. So I had to find some parenting tips for parents who have ADHD, parenting ADHD children, so that I could try and get my relationship back on track with my children. So here's my five tips and hopefully they'll help you out as well. Maybe six. I think I have six tips. Tip number one. You gotta take care of yourself first. So take care of your ADHD before you take care of your child's ADHD. Whether that's medication, talk therapy, coaching, whatever it takes, take care of you first. Parents tend to take care of the children first and then our needs. That can't happen in this situation. You need to take care of your ADHD first and then take care of your child's. You won't be able to take care of your child's unless you take care of yours. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, explain ADHD symptoms to everybody in the house. Not everybody in the house knows exactly what they could do to help out or if they could help out. But if you explain your symptoms and your children's symptoms, they know what to look for. And after a while, you'll be able to come up with symptoms to help each other out. Like it or not, ADHD is actually a family issue. So make it a good one by getting everybody involved. You help out your children, your children help out you, your spouse probably helps out everybody because you're the one who has ADHD, that sort of thing. So it's a family issue, so make it a good one. Tip number three, negative feelings, get rid of it. Now for me, those negative feelings are about my childhood because I was an undiagnosed child. And so growing up through those struggles, not knowing I have ADHD, I still have a little bit of negative feelings when it comes to that. And it's not anybody's fault. I just still have negative feelings about what could have been and so forth. So I need to get rid of those negative feelings because if I start talking to my children about their struggles and what they're going to go through, those negative feelings could creep into that type of relationship. So we need to get rid of those negative feelings any way we can. Tip number four kind of goes with tip number one because it's a family issue. Create an ADHD friendly household that accommodates ADHD patterns. Now that can mean a lot of different things and you could be creative with this one, but I'll give you an example. We have the Amazon Alexa system throughout the house and we use reminders constantly. We have repeating reminders to remind the kids to brush their teeth, to get ready for school, grab their book bags, put their lunch in their book bags, all sorts of stuff. My wife, she even uses it for me. If she's away for the day and I'm home with the kids, I get reminders all the time to feed them lunch, to put them to bed, to give them baths. She knows that I'm gonna get hyper-focused into something or I'm gonna get distracted by something or I'm just gonna flat out forget or I'm gonna lose track of time, all that type of stuff. She knows that that's what I do. She knows that's my pattern. So she gives me reminders all the time. So come up with an ADHD friendly house. It really makes a difference. Tip number five, learn communication strategies. Now this is actually a two-parter. I actually struggle with the second part the most. And the first part is geared more towards kids my age, seven to 10. The first part is come up with some household rules. Get the family together. Remember, it's a family issue. Get the family together, including the kids, and come up with those rules. Write them down on a piece of paper, along with the consequences for breaking those rules. Post it where everybody can see. That's gonna allow the kids to remember what the rules are and what happens when the rules are broken. 
That's also gonna allow the ADHD parent to remember what the consequences are. There have been so many times when my kids run in the house, I put them in timeout for five minutes. The next day they run in the house, I take away their electronics for a week. It's so inconsistent. So this allows the ADHD parent to be more consistent with the discipline. So learn communication strategies. The second part to that tip is learn your triggers. Not only do you learn your triggers, but learn when your triggers are most likely going to happen. Hopefully that's going to allow you to know when you're about to be triggered. So you could do a couple of options. You could hand the situation off to your spouse and have them deal with it while you go off and calm down. Or you could step away from the situation, calm down and come back and try and talk to them more calmly and collectively. That's going to definitely have a better outcome than just lashing out on them. So learn communication strategies. That's the end of tip number five. Tip number six, use humor. This one's actually my favorite tip. Obviously, do not make fun of somebody else's ADHD symptoms unless they're on board. But you can make fun of your own. If you do something ADHD related, make a joke about it. Make light of the situation. <laughs> laugh it off. That's hopefully going to transfer into your children so that when they grow up, they won't grow up with the shame and the guilt for having ADHD moments. They'll be able to laugh it off and make light of the situation as well. So use humor. We use humor in the house all the time, especially with my ADHD symptoms. And a lot of times, my kids will get involved with that. So we try to make light of the situation. Plus, I realize that it does kind of bring the family closer together because we all get to have a big laugh at somebody's expense in a fun way, not in a negative way. So use humor. It works. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you guys got something out of it. If you did, that's great. If you didn't, as I say always, I'm trying here. You got to cut me some slack. One of these days, I will get you to like something. I hope you guys had a happy holidays. I hope you guys will have a happy new year, and I will see you next time. I most likely have it too. Most likely. Most likely. Likely. Most likely. Yeah, I'm most likely. Most likely. Yeah, most likely. Number two. Oh, I forgot. I lost the thought. Hold on. It's coming. Scratch all that. Gotta go back to it. And the first part is kind of geared towards kids that are around my age, like 10 to 7. 7 to 10. 10 to 7. 7 to 10. Ah, whatever. I realized that I, my, 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 oh, I, 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 lashing out on them. I had to, I had, oh, man. There it is. <laughs>